Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here, welcome back to another Nikkei Goddess of Victory video. Alright, so Marsana, what do I think of her currently? Now, if you are pulling her for A2, she might work. There's a little bit of conditions to make her work. And it does seem that the team that you put her in is going to matter a little bit as well. So I'm going to give you guys the full details, everything you need to know about the best teams to use with her, how her skill works overall, and also, is she worth pulling for? Now, first things first, if you guys are not aware, there is going to be a free 10 pull for the Facebook followers milestone reward. So make sure you guys claim that first and, you know, feel free to save that, keep it however you want, right? Alongside with the maintenance rewards. Now, with that being said, let's show you guys the pulls first. All right, wish me luck. This is going to be a addition. Wait, it's only 13 days. It's only two weeks. This one's still six days left. Six days left. Okay. It's been so long since they overlapped three banners together. Uh, I'm not sure if they've ever done this. I'm trying to think. Usually it's like two banners, but this one is like the overlap three banners. Which is quite crazy. Alright, we're looking for Alicean. 4%. Not 4% yet. 13 days so people can FOMO. Alright, we didn't get it. It's unfortunate, but it's okay. You know what they say. The first one... You burn the luck, you burn all the bad luck, the next one shall be it, alright? <laughs> one tap, one tap, okay. Let's go, let's go. Like a teacher learning beside your classmate. It's gonna be here. It shall be here. Oof, okay, they want me to spend some, eh? They want me to spend some extra, eh? I see what they are doing. I see what they are doing. <laughs> it's all for fun, no, this is not for fun. This serious pulls right here. This is like a serious pull, all right? The for fun pull, that was last week. That was over. All right, third time is the charm. They always say third time's the charm. I always get lucky on my, on my third one. My first one is unlucky. My second one is unlucky. And the third one will always be lucky. Except for this time, I don't know why. Yo, what's happening? Yo, what's happening? Yo, what's happening? Okay. Okay, that's unfortunate. That's rather unfortunate. <laughs> not not fun. Ooh, we got to use gems now? Just like that, 30 tickets are gone. All right, guys, make sure this is a lesson for you to learn. To be careful, all right, before you pull. 30 tickets can just go away. Look, this is 40 pulls ready. 40 pulls ready, guys. And can we get it, though? Is she here, though? And she's still not here? 40 pulls! 40 pulls, she's still not here! Any fake out? No fake out? Okay. I s okay, the next one. 50 pulls. Usually like 50 pulls is like the average. So this is like the average. 50 pulls is usually when you get... You, you beat the 4%, right? That's how it works. By 50 pulls, usually you get to beat the 4%. So it's, it's going to be yellow here, but we still got to beat the 2%, right? The game is taking the money. Yo, chill man, chill. Okay, like I said, I know it's gonna be here. I knew I can predict everything that's happening. However, is this going to be 2%? Remember, this I beat the 4% already. Okay, that, that process is over. Can I beat the 2%? Can I get, what is it, addition? Can I get addition? Okay. Okay, it's all the way there. Okay, this is very scary. Extremely scary. Alright, will this be it though? Alright, Ennis is there. Alright, Alicia. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go! Let's go! What now? This chair is so tall, man. Let's go! Let's go! Yo, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Damn, we beat the two percent. We beat the two percent. She's so hot. Maybe you should pull for her then if she's so hot. Damn, let your gems be drained. Drain the gems. Wait, what is this? Wait, there's a PlayStation Five at the back. Wait, there's a PlayStation Five at the back. You think it is PS Five Slim? Yeah, just with the Elysian symbol. Eh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like it. Let's try and test it out. Marciana's uh, skill, it gives you this particular thing. 
everybody in your team, everybody in your ally get this access HP. This green thing is the access HP. This green thing is the access HP. This green thing is the access HP. So everybody gets it. Like every character gets it. So if your character is still full, it doesn't matter, right? After 10 seconds, this thing expires. It will go to the full. But for characters that actually uh, they take damage, like A2 and Scarlet is very good because they will actually, she will actually restore this much will be restored to her after the 10 seconds duration ends. So you can see right here, look at A2's HP, look at A2's HP, after the duration ends, boom, look. So her HP goes up. That is a lot. That is very good actually. So A2 and Scarlet benefits from this by a lot. Alright. So of course, uh, for character with that doesn't need healing, this might not seem like uh, it's going to be that good of a thing. It might even work uh, very well with some characters that perhaps can, um, you know, can pawn like a defender or something that is constantly taking damage. Like if you pair in PvP, now that I think of it, PvP, I think she's going to be quite strong, right? Think about it. If you pair with Noise, if you pair with, uh, you know, maybe uh, Makima, those, those, those characters. So yeah, it's not bad. It's actually pretty decent. You need another healer, so I guess you're going to pull for her. Well, she is in standard, right? So keep that in mind. So even if you don't pull now, you're not missing out that much because eventually you will be able to wishlist her. But uh, right now, that this is quite a unique thing. So I was more hoping that it will work this way, you know? I was more hoping. My initial thought when I read this description was that, okay, Lita have this excess heal, right? And then uh, Drake has this excess heal. So I was hoping that Lita's access heal is not used, so it will transfer this access heal back to A2 because she's been damaged. So does Drake's one. It will transfer back to A2. Uh, I was hoping it would work that way, you know? But that's not how it works. So everybody gets this, but only the character uh, will get their own access heal. Only that will work on them. It's still pretty decent, right? My A2 was able to sustain right there, uh, which I was quite surprised, actually, if you think about it. My A2 was able to solo sustain, so besides Nor and Blong, that is not bad actually. I was able to uh, last that long. It didn't push me all the way to full, right? But keep in mind, I'm still at 444. So my skill level is still at 444. She might be gear dependent as well, uh, if you think about it, right? Because keep in mind, a lot of her skills, right? As you can see, uh, this one is based upon her attack damage. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but this one, the skill 2, is based upon her final max HP. And her burst skill is also based upon her final max HP. So you gotta have the gears, like the strong gears to increase your HP, I would say, right? So maybe with higher skill gears, with overload gears perhaps, she could heal even more. Because right now mine is like, you can see these are my gears, right? Okay, okay, look at this. So let's say I use Lita, I only have Lita, and I, I use Drake, alright? So this is like super not optimal. For, for this uh, Marsana team. So let's say I go with this. Because uh, Lita increases uh, the ammo, right? Lita increases the ammo. Uh, Dorothy doesn't. So this is Lita and Drake. Okay. So this is Lita and Drake. So you guys saw that my A2 was like 50-ish percent. So now I use Privati. Uh, in case you guys are wondering, because Privati is skill 1, right? This one. Uh, it increased reload speed and decreased max ammo capacity. Therefore, my Marsana will be able to cast uh, this skill more often. Because this one is activates when the last bullet hits the target. So with that, let's try Little and Privati first, alright? Like look, Privati helps way more, I think. I think the difference is Privati. Because look, just now I was using Drake, but now when I use Privati, right, it feels like I'm healing more. It feels like I'm, I'm healing more with Privati. Are you guys observing it? Privati might be important for her, alright? It does make her healing potential goes up. So you can still use Lita, alright? But Dorothy, I think, will also help improve that to a certain extent. So yeah, as you guys can see right there, uh, Marsena is a decent healer. She's very good. She provides a lot of things that a lot of characters need, right? A burst 2 healer right now, the only other competition that's like direct competition to her is going to be Blanc. Now Blanc, however, will need Nor to be in the same team. Uh, so therefore, 
it might be harder or stricter for a lot of new players to basically get two units or two characters per se. So if that's the case, uh, that's someone that you struggle with. They are both really good though, however, uh, Blong and Nor, I still think that they are slightly better because for example with Blong, you can see not only does she heal, she also gives shield, she also has an ability that can increase enemy's damage taken. So that is like an insane value. Now let's give you guys a quick summary recap right here. Should you pull for Marsena? If you are going for waifu reasons, then the answer is yes. Alright, if you want to heal Scarlet, yes. Alright, no problem whatsoever. She heals everyone without any issues. However, the most difficult character to heal right now is going to be A2. Now if you're pulling to pair her strictly with your A2, that's going to depend on your other characters in the team as well. So if you are just pulling her uh, and you're not using her bare minimum with skill 444 and then like her gears are perhaps are not powered up, then it might not be sufficient enough to heal your A2 consistently. Like I've shown you, uh, Privity definitely helps uh, certain characters like Dorothy, anyone that can help. Her skill 1, the last bullet to hit faster, uh, that definitely is going to give her an edge. Now another thing that to consider is a uh, good burst 2 healer. She is probably the second best right now, uh, other than Blanc. Alright, so she, they are both like the best. If you don't have Blanc and Nor, she might be the second best burst 2 healer right now. I will give her a solid rating of perhaps 8 out of 10, right? She is not broken by any means, but very strong and solid healer. Highly recommended if you need a healer. Now if you're unsure if you, whether you need her or not, don't rush. Just think carefully, just wait, you know, she is going to be always available there in the standard banner. Unlike the limited near characters which will disappear soon, uh, she will forever be there in the standard banner. So don't worry too much about her, you know, just take your time, think carefully. If you need a healer, pull, if not, just wait it out. Alright, so that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, subscribe if you guys haven't already, give this video a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day, goodbye.